Howdy, folks. Howdy, Jones. Let's chat, shall we? I love people, except when they lie to me. The other day I saw Jeannie, you know, from I Dream of Jeannie, at a department store. And I asked her if she could make some furniture disappear. And she said that she doesn't have the power to do that. She said that her name is Barbara Eden. And what they did on I Dream of Jeannie was stop the camera, then take all of the furniture out of the room before they turn the cameras back on again. Poppycock. I don't believe it. I wonder if Major Nelson knows about this. I doubt it. Last week, I saw Mr. Carter at a department store, and I said to him, Hey, Mr. Carter, where's Mesopotamia? Uh, and he said, he has no idea. You're a history teacher. How could you have no idea, liar? No one else would all you so stupid. They're being taught by a liar. And what the hell does Oscar Madison think he's pulling over on us? <laughs> First, he's a sports writer living with Felix Unger in New York. The next minute, he's a coroner named Quincy living on a houseboat. What the hell do you really do for a living, Oscar? Besides lying! You cannot deceive me with your lies! You're all nothing but a bunch of dirty, stinking liars! These cameras are filled with lies! I'm not really in someone's living room. Look. I'm in a giant airplane hangar filled with lies! Shame! Shame on you! Orlando, Orlando, what are you, crazy? Yeah, man, what are you doing? How, how could these lies actually upset you? I mean, well, you did not really believe that Barbara Eden had magic powers, did you? You are an actor, Orlando, and you're reading cue cards. Yeah. But look, look. Show him. <laughs> Okay? 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 Okay. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you for freeing me from this sea of lies. I'm my own man. I don't have to be burdened by other people's thoughts or ideas. <laughs> Guess I'm nothing but a great big stinking liar myself. <laughs>